What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for this boot review. It is the brand new Puma Ultra Ultimate. All right, fam, so here we are with the Puma Ultra Ultimate box. I am super stoked about this particular boot. So down in the comments, I need you guys to let me know whether the Ultimate is a better looking boot than the 1.4. I tend to think so. I think it has some Evo power vibes. I think it has some really cool homages to back when the Evo Speed had the carbon fiber bottom and they it was worn by Samuel Eto in the World Cup and those types of boots. And I'm really excited to see what these look like in person and then of course try them on and see if they are worth uh, actually trying to break in compared to a 1.4 and 1.3, basically the same boot, but we'll go from there. So. Let's hop straight into the unboxing and then we'll talk a little about new technology that's in this boot, what differentiates it from the 1.3 and 1.4, or I guess the 1.4, which is the current generation, and then we'll see how it fits on feet and if it's a boot that I will be putting into the rotation. So pretty standard box from Puma. This is a new one that says forever better. I think this is following the trend of Adidas and Nike and looking at a little bit more of the sustainable recycling box. So taking recycled materials and making boxes out of that instead of constantly producing new cardboards and new materials, basically to help be more sustainable. So that's what this one is. On the other side, it says responsible looks good on you with a little Puma logo here. And then there you go. So it's the Puma Ultra Ultimate in a nine US, which for Puma is a UK eight and a Euro 42, 27 centimeters. They call this colorway the fizzy light and Parisian blue colorway, which is super cool. So red box, a little bit different than what we've seen in the past with the Puma, uh, the standard Puma box being that just flat fire engine red box. So kind of a cool change. And I really like where the brand, big brands are going with the more sustainable box. I think it makes total sense other than maybe the special edition drawer style boxes from Adidas, which are super cool as well. So here we go, unboxing the Puma Ultra Ultimate. I'm very stoked to see what these look like. All right. Oh man. Wow. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Puma Ultra Ultimate in, what do they call it? The fizzy fizzy something or other, this crazy neon yellow color, and then the Parisian blue. Such a cool colorway. This gives me huge Evo power vibes, especially on this side here with that, the little Puma stripe going up this way. Wow, I am super excited to see what these feel like on feet, but let's take these out of the box and we'll get a sense of kind of some of the new tech that they've put in this. Per usual with Puma boots, you don't get a string bag, but that's okay. Puma Ultra Ultimate for the win just on its own. Okay, so let's throw this here maybe. Perfect. Okay, so Puma Ultra Ultimate, what a crazy boot. So this includes uh, some new things uh, and some new features. It is what's called the Ultra Weave Upper, which is a new technology from Puma. I'm going to take this out and I'll get you guys a good idea of how soft these are. Wow. Holy moly. Okay. So these are, it's a textile base. I think it's a knit base, which is called um, this Ultra Weave. So you've got the logoing right here, the Ultra Weave, and then it's the Power Print. And my guess the Power Print is this texturing on the upper, I'll see if I can get close enough to the camera so I can see, there you go, yep. So right here, there's this ultra weave stuff, or power print, excuse me, that is the coating that goes over this ultra weave. And I gotta admit, it's way less plasticky than the ultra 1.4 feels, um, and it's a lot more knit feeling without losing some of the structure in the upper to keep that locked down. Um, secure. So hopefully what this will do is this will provide a really, really good amount of lockdown while also being super flexible and you'll be able to break these in pretty easily. The other thing they did was they put power tape on the back, which is this technology that I guess is supposed to hold your heel in. There you go. So you've got the power tape and it goes right along the back. It's just this big piece of material that goes up 
and then down. And that's supposed to kind of help lock your heel in without providing, there's an, inter there's an internal heel counter in here, but um, I do imagine that it will be not as, it, it won't be as noticeable with this new power tape. So the ultimate, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but is because they're still coming out with 1.4 colorways, I think the Ultra Ultimate is actually a one-off boot, or they'll use this as the platform for the next generation, like the Puma 1.5 or whatever, the Ultra 1.5 or whatever they decide to call it. Maybe the Puma Ultimate, Ultra Ultimate is like actually the Puma Ultra 1.5 that they'll continue with, but it is confusing that they are still coming out with new colorways of the 1.4. So I'm not actually sure if this is like a one-off or if this will be produced later down the line. What this does look really similar to is the women's edition that came out on Unisport at a very similar time to when the Ultra 1.3 and, or excuse me, 1.4, it was a white with a cherry blossom, it was like the ultra cherry blossom special edition from unisport and it came around the same time that those the unisport version of the barbershop ultra 1.4s came out and it was a collaboration that unisport did with puma and so the but the women's variation for the euros came out and the women's version of the puma ultra this this women's version looked very very similar to this so I am curious to know if the women's side got the Ultra Ultimate kind of well before it went to mass market. I think that's what happened because the design and the way that this is such a low profile with the higher um, heel kind of tab, I guess, that looks a little mercurial-esque actually, which is kind of cool. It looks very similar to a uh, Vapor 14 and I think that's what happened though. So I think this is what the the women's was and then they just made it, they produced it for the mass market with a few additions and subtractions to the upper and they've made this into a full production model. So compared to the 1.4, this is a completely different construction. What I'm really excited for is the heel liner, which is Yes, it goes up a little bit, and I am concerned that there might be a little bit of pressure on the Achilles, but this heel liner right here with this suede, these suede pods that are kind of right back here on the, on the heel area that'll hug your Achilles, I think those will be an incredible, those will give you such a good lockdown. Um, and this is in addition to, excuse me, that's really loud outside. Um, this will be in addition to the 1.4, which didn't have any of this. It was just a flat suede liner in the back. So I'm hoping that these give a little bit more cushion and allow for less blistering and less pressure points in the heel area when you're breaking this in. As far as the insole goes, it's Puma's Nano Grip technology, which I absolutely love. There you go. So it's it's got this really nice little, Mizuno does it as well, but it's this nano grip technology that no matter what socks you're wearing, it actually does feel super grippy on the bottom of your foot, which is super awesome and such a great addition. Um, do, so the lacing system is a central lacing system. I guess you could argue it's like maybe two, one or two degrees off center to the lateral side, but it really is a pretty standard lacing system. And then you've got a small bit of unexposed, like literally on top, right under where my finger is, that's the only area, including the little collar, that's unexposed, or excuse me, that's that's exposed uh, ultra weave. So it's ultra weave, you can see right there, and then there starts to be a coating after that. So my guess is that, or it's a little bit thicker. So my guess is that these are actually gonna stretch and be suitable for most foot types which will be super awesome for me because right in this midfoot area is where I struggle to fit in the current Ultra 1.4s and I'm hoping that these do a better job. The sole plate is also pretty different as well. So this is what the sole plate looks like. They have gone away from the hyper aggressive, fully chevron studs like they have right here. And instead they've gone for a little bit more neutral with Chevron studs up in the toe area, chevron studs on the lateral, the chevron stud on the lateral side, and then two chevron studs here in the 
front part towards the midfoot area of the heel. And then they've gone for, similar to the Vapor, these triangular studs, but instead of it being sharp, it's actually all rounded. So there's a lot more, at least it looks to me, a little bit more suitable for both AG and FG, which is a really cool feature that Puma has advertised for their Ultra Boots for a long time, but it never really, to me, seemed like that was actually the case. They would have all Chevron studs and say it was an AG boot or an AG slash FG hybrid stud plate, and you're like, mm, that's not how that works, right? Whereas this one actually does, and it is advertised on the box as AG FG, that with these triangular, or I guess star, triangle star studs, whatever you want to call them, that they are, it's going to be a lot better for pivoting and stuff. Snapback on this is pretty good. It's not exceptional, but it definitely is, um, yeah, I'd say, it's, I'd say it's pretty average for a speed boot. We'll see, I think the, the highlight of this boot is gonna be this upper material and how exceptionally soft, like that is, that's pretty good. It is a little bit plasticky, like. Oh, it's on my other side, there you go. There you go, so you can kind of hear that. So it's a little plasticky out of the box, but it literally feels like this is gonna soften up so easily. And once you have your foot in here for a long time and you get it broken in and you obviously do the whole lacing system, you break them in properly, they're gonna be an excellent pair of football boots. The other thing that I really like is how low the silhouette is. So if you notice in a lot of the Puma Ultra boots, I have complained that there's been extra material right on the outside of the ankle, right? Every time, I say this in most of my boot reviews, that's one of the things that I hate most is when boots are low cut, but they have this massive gap and this like bending like that of the material that happens on the outside of this, um, outside of this upper. And so I'm hoping that because of how low the silhouette is, right? So it doesn't, it almost looks like it goes up shorter than what it used to, like it used to go all the way up here, but now it's a little bit lower. I know I'm kind of speaking in nondescript words, but you kind of understand what I'm saying, right? It's a lot lower profile boot than it was before. And with the heel, I think this is gonna create just a really comfortable boot and something that's gonna be just an exceptional raw speed boot, barefoot-like feel, which I'm so excited for. So again, ultra weave, power print on top of it, the power tape, new sole plate. It's basically a new football boot altogether. And they are, oh, let's talk about weight for a second. Featherweight, like super, super light. I think they're about the same as the Ultra 1.4. So don't expect them to be crazy, like way, way, way lighter than Ultra 1.4, but they are still exceptionally lightweight. My guess is anywhere between, depending on your size, it'll be between 160 and 180 grams, depending on how big your depending on how big your foot is. Um, yeah, these are awesome. I love the colorway, it's super loud, especially with the blue. I think it uh, matches the, uh, you know, goes well with my brand, which is super sweet. So without further ado guys, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video. I'm gonna get a ball, and then I'm also gonna talk to you guys about how well these fit and feel, if they're gonna go into the rotation, and we will go from there. Let's hop into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I have the Puma Ultra Ultimate here with the laces untied, ready to go, ball at my feet, and I'm so stoked to see how these fit and feel. Again, they are super, super soft. Because it is a knit textile base as opposed to the 1.4, which is a synthetic base, I am actually really curious to see how these would break in over time, if they would stretch a little bit for wide footed players like myself, and then of course, if they're reasonable to wear in game-like scenarios and on AG pitches like I am here in this gorgeous stadium here in Rochester. So apologies about, um, there's a kids camp going on near me right now and there's also a little bit of wind. So hopefully it's not too crazy right now with the wind noise, but thought I'd uh, let you guys know. I'm gonna do my best in post-production to kind of take all that stuff out, but all good. One of, my, one of my buddies is up in the stadium. He's one of the guys who works here. Very cool guy. Shout out to Mark. All right, here we go. So gonna slip. I'm also wearing a pair of non-grip Zypher socks if you want 10% off. Link down in the description, as you guys know. All right, so here we go. Beautiful neon yellow, and ooh, it's promising. Half my foot's in, and it's already feeling promising. All the way in. Wow. Wow, this is so different than 1.4. 
well, okay, that's a lie. Not so different, but like really, really nice. Holy moly. Wow, okay, cool. They are, they are a bit tight for sure. Get the other one on as well. Slide the other one on, there we go. There is a decent amount of width here in the midfoot. I can feel it stretching a little bit, which is nice. Definitely tight in the toe box area. Just something to start to feel out once it gets broken in, see if they actually break in and are a little bit more wide in the toe box area, but it is a snug fit, which I expect from a speed boot, especially from Puma. And we'll just do a single knot there. And we'll get this other side in. Oh, gosh dang. This thing is always making moves on me. All right, here we go. So first impressions, it is, they are definitely more comfortable out of the box to me than the 1.4s. So that's, that's pretty cool. I know a lot of people, one of my teammates actually absolutely loves the 1.4s. So he's considering getting a pair of these as well, but um, these are a little bit different for sure out of the box. Okay, there we go. So there is a good look. Lockdown in the heel area is super, super legit. Right away, you can feel how snug these are on feet. There's definitely less material in this area. Yes, I can still stick my finger there, but there is a pretty deep lacing system, which is really nice. Um, the heel lockdown is pretty special as well. It's like pretty intense, actually. It's, uh, I, there's gonna be no slippage on it at all, which is awesome. I think they look spectacular. These are such a cool looking pair of football boots. Um, and I can already feel the upper breaking in a little bit. That's crazy. Yeah, they are, uh, they are super comfortable. So this is what it looks like with the full kit. I think it actually looks super sick with the, with the blue accents of my brand logo uh, with the outside of the boot. I think that looks super cool. Let's see, here we go. Touch on the ball, very barefoot feeling. Wow, okay, so this is even more barefoot feeling than Vapor 15, Superfly 9. Holy moly. There, you can't really feel that micro texturing on the upper very much. I'm sure you'd actually really be able to feel it when you're playing in wet conditions or it starts to get a little bit slippery. You'll be able to feel that you have a similar amount of grip to when you started on dry surfaces. And in that way, it just adds to give you a little bit of more traction so that the ball's not slipping off your foot in weird ways. But as far as how they look, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these Puma Ultra Ultimates. I think they look really cool. Um, there is a bee that just went on my, no, oh. ugh. There was a bee like on my shoe. Oh, it's right there, damn. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Not nice. Goodbye, bee. Goodbye, bee. No more. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're back. So I think these look really, really cool. I am a huge fan of the way that they fit as well. I think these are more comfortable right out of the box than the Vapor 15 because it is a knit upper and the Vapor 15 is sort of that vapor posit synthetic-y type material. These definitely feel like they do a better job of adapting to your foot shape as soon as they get out of the box, which is super, super cool. They're really lightweight. And then the other thing I would say is the traction is actually awesome. You can twist and turn a little bit on the artificial ground and it does give you enough traction pushing forward and going side to side, no issues there. And it definitely does feel like a really solid sole plate for uh, most, I would recommend doing it on FG most of the time, but because there are less Chevron studs now on this one, I would say you're probably totally fine on AG pitches. Um, but again, feel on the ball, how lightweight these are. I think these are so cool. Ooh, little fancy feet for you. Uh, no, these are awesome. And well done to Puma for taking the concept of the Ultra, which was already a, an amazing $200 price point and just upping the game. I think they've created 
debatably the best speed boot they've ever made in the Puma Ultra Ultimate. I would argue that this is better than the Ultra 1.4 in a lot of ways, more comfortable out of the box. It's much easier to break in and uh, you guys will see over the course of the next, hopefully month or so of wearing these. I'm like already pretty comfortable. It's actually, today's a Tuesday. I might actually break these in, in training, see if I can, see if I can wear them for a little bit and get a good feel for how they break in. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, these are awesome. I really think these are a cool pair of football boots. Definitely go pick them up if you are a Puma Ultra fan just in general. These will fit most foot types, I think, except if you have mega excessive wide feet, especially in the toe box area. It is a little thinner toe box, so if you're okay with your foot being cramped a little bit in the toe box, but um, the width in the midfoot should definitely stretch a little bit as you break them in. And with this knit upper, you should be able to get your toes kind of wiggling a little bit more as the upper breaks in and stretches. So if you guys enjoyed these brand new boot reviews, uh, definitely hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We are almost to 10K. And as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.